baller. Take one. Action. Hello, babies. Welcome back to another video. My name is Kay, and this is Crown Baller. Before we even get into this video, honey, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Join our team. Come sit in our bench. We would love to have you here, of course. Also, follow me on all of my social medias if you're not doing so already. They will be on the screen. If not, they'll be in the description box. <laughs> but no, y'all know how this goes. So, without any further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so as you can tell from the title, this will be a hair review from a AliExpress company that I tried out recently. This video is gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna be applying this wig as I kind of give the review. We're gonna talk through all the good, the bad, and the ugly, baby. Oh, I love it. I do have an unboxing and first impressions of this wig, so make sure you guys go check out that install video so you guys know and see how I style it. I had to go put some lip gloss on because I, I can't have no crusty lips so mind your business if you don't have nothing nice to say don't say nothing at all before we get into this install i'm actually going to moisturize my scalp now this wig is going to be a glueless wig but i haven't oiled my scalp in a while so i'm just going to do that for you guys on camera i'm using this miel white peony leave-in conditioner as well as the miel mint almond oil blend so this is what i do normally underneath my wigs i've had these braids in for about two months now they're about to come out but i just wanted to give them a little bit of love even still and i'm gonna take my oil and i'm just going to massage that in let's get into the specs of this wig so i purchased this wig from wow angel hair it is on aliexpress what made me purchase this wig was an influencer here on youtube her name is Brittany rivers she's the one who initially kind of drew me to this wig and then once i seen it i kind of of course did a little bit more research. It's pretty much an affordable company that sells HD lace. So that's what really drew me to it. Cause nowadays, like we see these companies selling HD lace for 400, 500, 600, 700, $800. And it's just like, <laughs> why? <laughs> I know you have to pay for quality sometimes. I understand that. But sometimes the quality that we paying for is not even the quality that we're paying for. Let that sink in. I was just like, okay, for less, let me just take a chance on this hair company. So I purchased a six by six HD lace closure wig. I purchased it in a 28 inch and it is, I believe, Brazilian straight. I believe it's Brazilian straight. I don't know if it came body wave or straight if i'm being honest but the link down below goes to the straight wig shipping for this wig took about five to seven days i wasn't in america when this wig got shipped to me i was actually in europe so for whatever reason it just takes a lot longer for the shipping from china to ship throughout europe where i was it's a country called luxembourg it kind of took a while. So five to seven days wasn't bad. A lot of the days it was just stuck in customs. It came in a natural brown color. I did dye the wig jet black, which is actually new for me because I don't really normally dye my hair jet black, but I just wanted to try it. Bust down jet black middle part. 
I seen that video on TikTok. I'm sorry. I ended up dyeing it and the color took to the wig pretty well. I did use some box dye. Make sure you guys go check out that customization video because it shows you guys how I pretty much customized this wig. And I'm going to rate these things on a scale from 1 to 10. The hair definitely dyed pretty easily. Give it a solid like 7 to 8 out of 10. I missed a few spots, but I don't know if it's because the hair didn't take or if it's just because I missed a few spots. I would give shedding a 6 out of 10. Like the wig didn't shed a lot, but I definitely seen some strands around my floor and I would find random strands on my clothes or something like that. So I definitely noticed the shedding, but it wasn't like a noticeable problem, if that makes sense. Tangling, I would give it a 3 out of 10. I didn't really receive too much tangling. The most tangling that I would receive was when I was working out. You guys know that I play basketball. When I work out with the wig, I would get a little bit of tangling in the nape of the neck. So I would give the tangling of this wig maybe like a 7 out of 10. The hair does straighten and curl very well. So you guys will see when I apply the wig that I did straighten it. I feel like products will be a make or break for a style that you're doing. And I feel like the products that I used on this hair when I curled and straightened it made this hair so beautiful. Like I used some products before versus the Erica J Sleek and Shine Heat Protecting and Finishing Spray that I use now and baby, night and day difference. Here is the wig right here. Baby is moving. Baby got body. Baby got Back. Now, I did show you guys previously how I put on this elastic band. It does have an elastic, an adjustable band in the back of the wig already, but I wanted to add another adjustable band just so that I can make this wig completely, completely glueless. I didn't want to use any adhesive today whatsoever. gonna do it for you <laughs> yeah 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 that's gonna do it for you i did all my work on the mannequin head so i don't need to flat iron her i don't need to hot comb my top here i don't need to do any of that because i did it all and you guys can see how freaking silky where is where's the lace can you guys see it can you guys see the lace Hold on, let me stand up so y'all can see how long she is on me. So here's my belly button. And the wig is coming to around my hips. This is 250% density. So baby is full from root to tip. I did notice that the ends of the hair were a little bit straggly. I will probably go in and trim that. If you want to, of course, you can make some baby hairs. You can give yourself some sideburns. This is a six by six closure, so we're not getting the full lace front. I didn't want to have to deal with the full lace front, so I didn't want the full lace front, but I did want enough closure space. They went from five by five, six by six, and then a seven by seven. I'm gonna try that seven by seven next just to see how I like it. So this part of the wig is just track. So if you wanted you to, you know, pull down some sideburns and create them, I did the first time that I put this wig on, but this time I'm not going to just because I really want this just to be a throw on and go. So you guys can see how baby is looking for me. Okay, I rounded my free time. So this wig is supposed to be an HD lace wig. Now, you guys can see that it's barely, you can barely see this lace, right? You can barely see the lace. It's very thin. It's so easy to melt. I'm not sure, okay? I'm gonna be, I'm being 107% transparent i'm not sure if the lace is hd lace have i had an hd wig that was supposed to be hd that wasn't hd yes this lace is a lot better than that lace that was claiming to be hd if i had it melted and glued in with the adhesive you probably wouldn't be able to tell at all where the lace starts and ends but because i'm doing this whole little glueless thing you could tell which is fine. It's okay because you really can't tell. <laughs> like, that's what's crazy. Like, you really can't tell. Like, at all. The only problem I had with this wig was that it is too big for my head. This bulkiness that you guys see back here is because the wig is just too big. So I have a, I have a lot of 
space back here because the wig is just too big. So if you have a big head, this wig is perfect for you. It is definitely a big head friendly wig. But with this wig being 250% density, I think they just made the cap a lot bigger to fit the hair. So just be mindful of that. If you have a small head, you are gonna need to kind of tack baby down, maybe in the back. I do sew my wigs on. Maybe if you sewed it down, like and pulled some of that excess, it wouldn't be as bulky. It's no issue for me because I need the hair, okay? We love thickness, we love fullness. I love how thick this wig is, again, from root to tip. She's everything that I need more. Like, she's just giving me, and I appreciate that. For all of that, this six by six HD lace wig that is in 28 inches and 250% density cost me $328 dollars for the hd for the hd mm. Mm -hmm. let me know if you guys have any comments questions or concerns if you have tried this company and you had a different experience or you just want to share your experience with this company definitely talk to us down in the comment section below so we all can know about this hair company it's all about being resourceful with our money and if we can be baddie and bougie on a budget with a bomb hair company like this i don't want to gatekeep and hold it to myself i want to share it with you guys so that you're not wasting your money if this wig was trash i would definitely tell you because we saving money all 2023 and we looking fine while we doing it <laughs> But that was the end of this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. Comment down below any comments, questions, or concerns. And I will see you babes on the next one. Give me a kiss.